Precious listeners, welcome once again in today's devotion. My name is uh, Anthony Bita, and I am a minister of the gospel, most of the time through writing of books. So I'm glad that you are listening to me today. We started by talking about the five weapons of hope. The first day we talked about uh, the belt of truth and it became apparent that uh, we have to receive Jesus Christ. He is the way, truth and life. Number two, we talked about the breastplate of righteousness that for us to win war against the enemy, we must embrace righteousness in our life. Number three, we talked about uh, our feet, having our feet fitted with the gospel of, uh, of peace. And uh, today I want us to talk about the shield, the shield of faith. So what is it? The shield of faith. So faith is a spiritual shield of a believer. Faith is a spiritual shield of a believer. And uh, the book of Hebrew is the most eloquent chapter in the Bible on the subject of faith. So we go there right away. The book of Hebrews chapter 11. The book of Hebrews chapter 11. We will start from verse 1. And the Bible says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. Verse 3. By faith we understand that the universe was formed at, the, at God's command so that what is seen was not made up of what was visible. In verse 4, the Bible says, By faith Abel brought God a better offering than Cain did. By faith he was commended as righteous. When God spoke well of his offerings, and by faith Abel still speaks, even though he is dead. By faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. We can stop there for a moment. So we have seen that faith is very paramount in the life of a, of a Christian. Number one, you cannot even receive Jesus Christ without faith. Faith is very key to receiving salvation. We see the importance of faith in the Bible. If there is something that God treasures very much is faith of a believer. We see Enoch was taken away because of faith. We see because of faith, Cain's uh, sacrifice was rejected, but Abel's sacrifice was accepted because of faith. So the, God doesn't take the subject of faith lightly. And there is a, a story I came across an army 
of soldiers was killing Christians. And there were hundreds of Christians who were found in a cave praying. And when the soldiers arrived there, he threat they threatened everybody. If you want to save your life, can you deny Jesus and flee away? Over 90 people ran for their life denouncing Jesus. I don't know Jesus. I don't know Jesus. They flew for their life. They ran away. But uh, there was a family of 10 people. When the soldiers continued threatening them, they didn't even turn to look at them. They didn't even bother to raise their heads up to look at the soldiers. They just continue, continued praying. Then one thing that surprised them, the soldiers joined them and started praying with them. So the soldier said, we just wanted to know who is a true Christian, who is a hypocrite. So we wanted them to go so that we may join you and pray together. Can you imagine the faith of the ten families? Even at the point of death, they had faith that the Lord who saved Meshach Shadrach and Abednego from fire is able to save them. Even at the point of death, they had faith that the God who saved Daniel from the mouth of lions is able to save them. Even at the point of death, they had faith that the God who saved David from Goliath is able to save them. So one weapon of hope that we can wear in this life is the shield of faith. And the Bible is also very clear that without faith we cannot please him. All of us we remember the 12 spies. Ten of them came with a, with a hopeless message. Moses had sent them to survey the promised land, but 10 of them came with a bad report. We felt like grasshoppers. Let's not go to that land. But uh, Caleb and Joshua came with a report of faith. They believed in God. They trusted in God. They knew that those people are giants, but their God is the creator of giants. They behaved like David. As people were fleeing away the giant, Goliath, David saw that giant to be very huge to miss. And that is what God expects of us. Without faith, we cannot please God. I don't know your situation as a believer. I don't know what you're going through right now. I don't know. Maybe you have lost hope. Maybe you are in depression. Maybe everything is not working for you. Maybe you have really tarmacked and you cannot get a job. Maybe even you don't have parents. But do know that there is the one who created you. He just expects you to have faith. And when you have faith, the Goliath in your life will disappear. The Goliath in your life will be too big to miss. Do you will you join the two spies, Caleb and Joshua, in being a person of faith? That is what God expects us. So faith is having confidence about the future 
and assurance about the unseen and when we read we read verse 1 the bible says faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see number 2 without faith it is impossible to please god and we have seen very clearly from verse 6 and without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and he rewards those who earnestly seek him. God rewards those who earnestly, who earnestly seek him. Number four, God requires that we depend on him totally. Have you depended on the Lord? Have you depended on Jesus Christ? Have you depended on your creator? In the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 12, verse 9, we can read there. 2 Chronicles, chapter, 12, chapter 16, sorry, verse 9. To me, is there anyone... Who depends totally on me? Is there anyone who has surrendered who has surrendered everything to me? His eyes they're just looking down on the earth. And if he founds he finds anyone who is totally committed to him, then he's ready to come and demonstrate his power, demonstrate uh, his authority, demonstrate his majesty. The shield of faith gives us power to be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when threatened with fire. The shield of faith helps us to be like Daniel when threatened with lions. The shield of faith helps us to be like David when threatened by a Goliath. Precious listener, have you put on the shield of faith? Have you depended on God totally? Have you been like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in your place of work? Maybe they have even threatened to fire you because you don't want to sign that false check, they have threatened to scandalize you because you don't want to join them in the corruption? Have you become like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Have you depended totally on God that is able to save you, to overcome the tricks of the enemy, to overcome the power of the enemy against our life, we must put on the armor of God. We must put on the breastplate of righteousness. We must put on the belt of truth. We must have our feet fitted with the gospel of peace. Maybe you are not born again and you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want you to take a step of faith and receive him. You are not created to operate alone in this world. There is a helper. There is Jesus Christ. You are his son. You are his daughter. He will help you out. You must put on the shield of faith. So just in a step of faith, repeat this prayer after me. Say, Precious Father, I come before you today. I recognize your sovereignty. You created me, Lord. You went on the cross because of my iniquities. You are crucified because of me. You have good plans for me, plans to bring me prosperity 
and not destruction. Today I come before you. I reject sin. Allow your blood to wash me. Allow your Holy Spirit to guide me to be established in my heart. Today I'm born again in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you so much precious listener. If you have uh, said that prayer, make sure you go in a Bible believing church. Make sure you grow and uh, you'll never regret for having known Jesus. People will regret for not knowing Jesus, but you will you'll never regret for having taken that step of faith of receiving Jesus Christ. Be blessed. Thank you.